Hi, web authors. Welcome to Colorado College Cascade Basics, where we're going to go over the fundamentals for editing CC's website. So Cascade CMS is our brand new CMS that we just switched to from .CMS. Um, and a content management system is what we use to edit websites. And so right here pulled up, I have the Colorado College website. And so to access Cascade CMS, we're going to go to cms.coloradocollege.edu and select enter. And it's going to pop up with a screen um, and you're going to log in with the same credentials that you use for Banner, Outlook, Canvas, etc. Um, and one other way, if you ever forget the cms.coloradocollege.edu um, URL, if you go to the web author community website and you can either type in web or WAC and it'll populate right here. There's going to be an, uh, a link to that access URL right here as well. And so we're going to just go ahead and select this. We're back on that screen we were just at. And I'm going to select log in. And so we're going to open up to a page with my dashboard. And so I kind of customize this to you know how I fancy. And you can do the same. And so the first thing we're going to want to do is up in this top right hand corner is the site go to site button. And if we click that, we're going to get this little pull out that comes. And we're going to want to first things first, always select CC www production. So I'm going to click this. Perfect. And I'm going to open up to a screen with all these folders. And so what folders are in a content management system are sections of a URL. And so I'm going to open up a new tab here to view um, the CC website, like the live CC website. Great. And I opened up to the um, web author community. And so we're just going to pay attention to this URL right now. So we have coloradocollege.edu slash other slash WAC. And so I know that each section of the URL is going to be a folder. And so other is going to be my first folder and then WAC. And so I'm going to go back to my tab with Cascade CMS. I'm going to scroll down to the other folder. And if I click just on the name right here, it's going to pop open with all the folders within this. And then if I want to click this arrow where this little um, view folder pops up, I'm going to select it. And then those same folders that are open up under here will be right here, but a little bigger. And going back to this URL, I have other already opened that and then I have WAC. And so I'm going to scroll down to WAC. It's a W and all the folders are alphabetical. So it's going to be right down here. Same thing over here. I'd want to go to like the last page probably maybe the third or fourth page, but you get the picture. So it's whack. So I'm going to click on it right here. And then I'm going to open up the full folder. Great. So I've done that. So the first thing first for every folder is an index page. You want to have an index in every single folder. That is the home base of your folder, whether it's one of these inner folders within or not, you always want an index page. And so going back to the live site, if I were to, for example, choose using Cascade editing basics and training, I'm going to see the URL gets extended the further in I go into the subsite. So I have other slash whack slash using Cascade slash index. And so I know that using Cascade is going to be my next folder. And so if we scroll down here, we can see using Cascade as the next folder here. And when I open this up, I'm going to see these two pages within here which are the drop downs that we see on this live site right here. Great. So let's say I wanted to edit a web page. Let's say I want to edit this web page, just editing basics and training web page that I'm on right here. And I want to make bold these two URLs right here because these are really handy URLs to know. So I'm going to go back to Cascade. And this says index, this says content types. And if I go back here, it's the index page right here. Um, just a pro tip, if there, if this index is removed and it ends in a slash, um, that is the index page. It goes to the same place. Just if you ever see URL like that, like something's missing, you always know that's going to be the index page or the home page of that folder. So I'm going to go to this index. And I'm going to see the preview of it in the back end here. And then if I want to edit, I'm going to select edit right here. And if you don't see this edit icon right there, that means that a permissions was like a permission for your um, user was missed. 
And so just send me an email and I'll get um, someone to reassign those permissions to you. So I'm going to select edit. And display name is going to be the page title kind of that shows up right here. So editing basics and training. And then show menu, this is going to dictate whether or not we see the menu here. If I were to select no, it's just going to say web author community and then not have these options here and just um, the black would end here and then the page would start. And if I select include this page in menu, if I select yes, that will make it so that editing basics and training becomes this um, drop down we see right here. If I were to um, select no, this wouldn't appear and only content types would appear. And so, and that's the same on each page to make it show on the menu. That's how you're going to dictate whether or not it's going to show up in your menu. So if I scroll down, I'm on a CC standard page. That's going to be the web page that nearly all pages in CC's website are. So a banner image um, in .cms, that was called the hero image. And that's going to be the images that you see all the time on CC websites with like CC kids doing cool outdoorsy things. And if you want to add those, you're going to select yes. Um, and if you don't, you're going to select no. And so for this page, I'm going to say no. We typically only use banner images for home pages. And so moving on to show sidebar, I added a sidebar right here, which is where my little contact name is right here. And if I were to click no, this page would just extend all the way across. And so sidebar contents. And so if um, the first things first is sidebar content. So if I wanted to edit or add content into the sidebar, that is done um, not in this screen. So this is the editing screen for the page, but in the shared content. And so any piece of content that you want to use on multiple web pages, you're going to create it in here and edit it in here. So if I view that folder, so I just click the view folder button for shared content. We're going to have all the content contents that I've um, created. Here is going to be my WAC content box, which is what we see right here. If I were to edit that, I would want to click, um, click on it right here and then select edit. And then if I were to, you know, update this here, um, let's say I wanted to like bold this for, or like make this on italics, for example. And then um, if I wanted to click preview draft, um, I can't see it on the screen right here, but if I select submit, submit again, And then if I go back to my index page, or sorry, not the index page, if I go back to the um, web page that we were on, so the index page of using Cascade, come on. Great. So we're going to see that this web communications paraprofessional is no longer italicized. So that's how we're going to edit content um, in the shared content thing. Same in the shared content folder. Same thing if you wanted to add content, you would add, create that content there and then add it here. So if I click edit, and let's say I did create a new content in the shared content folder, I can then expand this, click this little plus sign, and then click choose block and then search for it in here. So let's say I wanted to add like the quick links, for example. I can click choose, that's already been created, and now I've added that quick links into my sidebar. So moving down is where you're going to get kind of the meat of your page with um, kind of what happens in the main page body. So the intro text is just kind of like, ideally, you know, one, one paragraph, it's gonna appear at the top, and it just kind of gives an introduction to your um, web page. And so, you might say like, welcome to, you know, my website. This is what we're all about. This is our mission statement, what have you. And then down below, you're going to have our first content container. And so every web page is going to have um, at least one content container, hopefully. Content containers are where all the content within your website um, are stored. And so when you open it up, you're going to see content type, and there's going to be a bunch of different options here. And the default is going to be standard web page content, which is what most, probably nearly all web pages are going to have on it, which is just the words, maybe a picture, um, basic information, right? 
And so let's say I wanted to bold this like we came in here for. I'm just going to highlight it and I'm going to select bold. Same thing down here. I'm just going to highlight it and select bold. And so this functions um, just like a word processor does, like Microsoft Word. So it's fairly intuitive. Um, fonts, you're welcome to change the fonts in the back end, but um, when you publish them, they're all going to be the same. Um, and kind of different, you know, you can kind of play with it. Different sort of functions, just like in a Word document. Advanced page settings, you can go ahead and ignore this um, unless you're doing something super fancy. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. That all looks good. I made the edits I wanted to. I added in that sidebar and then I um, bolded my content in there. And when I'm finished, I want to preview what it's going to look like. I'm going to select preview draft and you can do this as many times as you need. Um, just to kind of see what it's going to look like. So I added in that and I added in, uh, I bolded those. So that looks pretty good to me, but maybe I want to put this above here. So I'm going to select edit again to re-edit, go back into that same screen, more so a pop-up that we were just in. I'm going to open up this sidebar and I'm going to drag, oh, not drag, sorry. I'm going to click this arrow, move up. And now that's going to be the top option. So I'm going to select preview draft again. And there it is right there. So I like that. I'm going to select submit. And so I, this just gives a little note on what I did. So I'm going to select submit. And then down here, we get a little memo to publish them. And so you definitely want to publish them if you're ready for them to go live. Um, if you're not, um, as long as you click submit, they're going to save in the back end. So next time you log in, they'll be there. But I'm going to go ahead and publish these live. I'm going to select publish. Publish, great. And then it goes to a little queue. It only takes a few seconds to publish. And then unlike in .cms where we needed to have two different browsers open. So yeah, this just fully published just a second. Um, in Cascade, we only need to have a new tab open where we can view the live site. So we don't see our changes here, but if I give this a refresh, we're gonna see this content that I edited pop up. Great. So that's kind of how we edit um, edit a web page, kind of any, like a web page that's already existing. And so now I'm going to show you all how to create a new like drop down folder within a website. So the WAC is my main website. So I'm just going to go back to my full folder. And the index page right here is going to be um, my home page of the folder. And then when we see the site improve web page, so this is like a little web page icon versus a folder. That's how we know that it's not going to be a drop down, but rather just an option. So we just have site improve right here is just a single option. So yeah, just like the index is going to be our welcome page. And that is also just a single option. Great. Um, one other way to do single options though in the menu is um, if you have a folder and you have only an index page inside it, you can select, like, um, you can add, so like here, um, if there's an index page in it and both the index page and the folder are marked show on menu, then that's going to show up in the menu as a single item. But going back to creating a folder, so I'm going to create, I'm going to, okay, I'm doing my whole folder right now, and I want to create a drop down um, after site improve right here. So since I want to drop down, I'm going to create a folder. So I'm going to select, I'm in my WAC folder with author community, and I'm going to select add content. This is the button you're going to choose whenever you want to add content to your website. Um, yes, so I'm going to select add content. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select folder because I'm going to create a folder. So my folder name, I'm going to, so the folder name is going to be your URL. And so as you get a little note here, lowercase only, word spaces with a hyphen. So it's just like a URL, right? And so I'm going to write sample dash site. Placement folder is going to be in the WAC. And then the title is what will appear as my like page title. So the title is going to be what, what appears right here. And so I'm going to title this just like I titled it my URL sample site. B, let's do sample website, make it a little more clear. And then I do want to include this folder in the menu. So I'm going to select yes, and I'm going to select submit. Great, I got a little spell check thing, which is awesome for making sure you're not making errors. 
Great, so I created this right now. Um, and even though I selected submit and I'm seeing it right here and, and I selected show on menu, if I go to the live site and I refresh, it's not gonna show up here because I haven't published yet. So publishing is always um, what you do when you want everything to go live. So this is my sample site. And so I'm gonna create a web page. And so just like we said earlier, the index page is the home base. And so the first web page that we create in a folder is gonna be index. So I'm creating a new piece of content. So I'm gonna select add content and I'm gonna select oops, CC web page. I'm doing a you know, normal CC web page. That's typically what you're gonna to wanna to click. You're not pretty much always click CC web page. Great, so web page name, again, this is my index. So I'm going to do um, index, great. And then display name, this will be the main heading at the top of the page content area. So um, I'm gonna write sample site homepage because the index is our homepage. So review date, this is going to review in about a year-ish, which sounds good to me. And show menu, this means that, yeah, I do want to show the menu on my web page. I don't want it to be hidden. And include page and menu, yes, so that it'll be included in the menu from the um, main uh, Cascade website. Include banner image, nope, I don't need a banner image. But show sidebar, um, I'll add, yes, I'm going to show sidebar. I have some reusable content I can pop in there. And so for that, I'm going to select choose block. And then my recent ones are going to show up right here. And so I'm going to select this one, the contact box. That's a helpful one to have on a web a website. And then as well as quick links right here. That's what we just added to the, the previous page we were on. And I'm going to move that out because I like the quick links above the contact box. Great. So I'm done there. I added some sidebar content. And I'm going to scroll down and add some intro text. And so I'm just going to add, you know, welcome my sample website that's fight website great and then scrolling down we're going to have our first bits of content containers and so we have all these selections here of different kinds of um, content containers and like in .cms we had contents and then we had widgets we have all of those you know kind of like widget functioning items and just web content in the same drop down, which makes it, I think, a little less confusing. And to see like a preview of what each of these will look like, we have on the WAC, if you go to the using cascade and select content types, we have um, an example of kind of what these different um, pieces of content will look like on um, a web page. Great. So first things first, we're going to just do a standard web page content. And the heading, um, we can add a heading here. This will be sort of the kind of like, you know, main kind of like page header sort of thing. And so um, I added already, welcome to my sample site. You know, I'm gonna put more information because I'm adding more information after the, um, you know, welcome. So this is where my content is gonna go. And so I'm going to, you know, let's say I wanted to add some content. I'm going to take this lorem ipsum right here and just pop it in there. Great. That's right there. Perfect. And then I'm going to show you all how to add a link and Im add an image into the web page and then also link a document. And so for an image, we're going to want to put the image above the text. So even if you want the image, um, like if you want the image to the left or the right of the text, you're gonna put your cursor above the text. And you're gonna select insert image. And then you're gonna do um, internal. Internal is where you're gonna store it in the CMS, whereas external would be like it's located on some other website. So we're gonna do internal. I'm gonna do choose file. And then I need to upload an image because it's on my desktop. And so if I select choose and I'm on my desktop, I have my image right here and I have my document right here, but they're not, um, they're titled img.jpg and 454, which isn't gonna be helpful for when that is in um, the CMS with a bunch of other files with knowing what it is. And so I'm gonna open this up. This is an image of Ray Bradbury. 
and I'm going to um, rename it. Let's do Bradbury and I'm going to do 2021. It'll be Bradbury headshot 2021. Great. Look at that. Hopefully that's saved. Maybe it didn't. Computers are so weird. Okay. Let's try one more time. Bradbury headshot 2021. There we go. Perfect. And I just want to check on the size of this image because we never want to put an image into um, Cascade that's bigger than 800 by 800. And so if I select adjust size and I'm using a Mac just so you all know that's a big image. So I'm just going to um, change this height to 800 because then this will automatically go um, below. It'll automatically snap to be proportionate. So I'm going to select OK. So now that is web friendly because it's a good enough, like it's a fine size. I'm going to exit out of there because that one's all set. I'm going to go to my Word document. Now, we never want to put a Word document into Cascade. Instead, we want to put a PDF file. And so I'm going to rename this first things first. So let's rename this to Bradbury. Uh, let's do resume. Bradbury resume. We don't want to have any spaces in our um, file titles either because they're just going to become part of the URL as well. So I'm going to select file and then save as. And I could have also changed the name right here. And then file format, I'm going to export it into a PDF. And it's going to go right to my desktop um, where I know I can find it. Great, so that's there. I'm going to exit out of here. And then I no, long, I no longer need the Word document version of it. So I'm going to just throw that away. And so first, I'm going to upload my photo. So I have my photo here all ready to go. So I'm going to select Choose. And then Bradbury Headshot 2021, Open. Great file name. So then placement folder, that's going to go into um, shared content, which is a okay. So we're going to put it in shared content. I'm going to select choose. Perfect. And then that's good to go because I can always make it bigger or smaller with the little draggy tool once it's in here. So I'm just going to drag this down a little bit. Great, and I'm going to have this snap to the right of the um, lorem ipsum below here. So if I do formats, I can select custom and then inline right, right? And then if I wanted it to do inline right, inline left, I can go back to custom. I'm going to undo the inline right, and I'm going to do inline left. So here, here that is right there. So I'm going to leave that right there. I like it there. And then I'm going to put here. Um, Ray Bradbury's resume. And so now I want to link a Word document, um, or not a Word document, a PDF, a file. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select insert edit image. And so we want to do a file. So I'm going to click this file link source. And I haven't put this in the um, CMS yet. And so I'm going to select upload just like we did with the image. I'm going to select choose. We have my PDF right here. Perfect PDF document, Bradbury resume. So there's no space in that file name, which is awesome. Select open. Great. And that file name is going to automatically save there. And we can definitely shape it and save it in shared content, which is perfect. So I'm going to select choose. It's going to upload. I'm going to select OK. And then we have a little link right there to get to his um, resume. So that looks good to me. And I'm going to now select, I'm going to do preview draft to see what my page looks like. Great. I think that looks great. Look at that. That's a great web page. Um, and so if I'm all ready to go, I'm going to, one second, I just want to check one more time just to make sure that it's checked. Include this page in menu. That's, that's checked. Yes. So that's perfect. So then I'm going to select submit. First version, that's a okay. It's just the first, you know, the first iteration. Great. And so that's been created. And then if I select publish, select okay, that's going to publish, right? So it's queued for publish. And then I just got my notification that it was published. And then I'm going to refresh over here. And we're not seeing it show up in the menu. And so I think that's because we haven't selected um, on the folder. We haven't published the folder yet. So we have to publish the whole folder to make that show up. 
So let's go ahead and try doing that. So if I go to my sample site, I'm going to open up the whole folder with that little arrow that pops up. And I'm going to select publish. Publish, great. So it's queued for publish. And great, so that is complete. And then I'm going to go back to my live site and see what happens now. Nope, still not showing up. So I'm wondering if maybe that's because we need to publish the entire um, WAC website to make changes to the menu happen. So let's try refreshing that one more time. Yep, so that's a good thing to remember is that every time we make edits to the um, menu, we wanna open up the whole web author community folder or whatever your kind of main website folder is. So your folder is gonna be what shows up right here. So whether it's, you know, comparative literature or, you know, um, sustainability, whatever it is. So I'm going to select publish. Cute for publish and let's see, it takes a little longer for kind of um, folders here with big, you know, a lot of contents in it. So let's see. Great, and so now we see that it showed up right over here. And because there is no other um, items within the folder, right? It's just, a, it appears as a single option in the menu, just like site improve and the index are, it approves the single item. And so if you were wanting to make it a dropdown, we would just want to add another page to the folder and also mark that um, show in menu. So yes. But let's go back. So we noticed that um, we have the sample website showing up right here, and I want it to show up at the end of the menu. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up. So I have the WAC showed up. And to, this, to change the order, I'm going to um, click this to make the sort order. So it's one, two, three, four, five going up. And so right now, sample site is number one. And so I just want to drag this to going after site improve. And then since I've made a change to the menu, I want to go ahead and publish, publish again. Great, and then let's see, wait a few seconds and let's see here. Great, so now I have my sample website showing up right there. And if I were to click on it, I'm gonna see kind of the edits that we just made right there. Great, so that's what I have now for um, editing in Cascade. And so if you have any questions, please reach out to me and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.